Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to be showing you how to redirect your downloads folder and your other system folders to create more room on your primary hard drive. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to redirect the folders, system folders, and other folders on your Windows computer, mostly in your profile, but how to redirect them so that when you download items, rather than taking up a load of room on your primary drive or your faster drives, we're going to relocate those folders so they download or they store onto your slower mechanical drives if you've got one installed. Now, obviously, to do this, you need to have two drives in your computer or maybe an external drive, a LAN drive, a NAS, that kind of thing. But essentially, the principle works in the same way. So what we'll do is we'll redirect all of our downloads from our main primary disk to a secondary disk on the system. So let's go to the computer and I'll explain it in more detail. Okay, so this is our desktop PC and what we're gonna do is first of all go into Explorer. So as you can see, my video drive is getting quite full. My local disk isn't particularly full, but it can get that way if you start doing a lot of downloads. So what we're gonna do is go into our virtually empty games drive and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call the folder downloads and hit enter. So there we're ready to go. Obviously you can change this to be whatever you want. You can have it to be pictures, you can have it to be movies, documents, whatever you choose to do. But for me personally, this is gonna be for my downloads folder. So what we can do is now is on the side here where it says this PC, you've got, this is your home drives here. So what you can do is if you right click on downloads and then choose properties, and then it'll tell you your properties of your drive. So we've got two and a half gig or 2.5 gigs of downloads. And what you can do is click on location. So click on the location tab, and this is our current location. So it's in your user's profile, then your username, then downloads. So what we can do is we can click on move, and then it's asking us where we want it to move it to. So if we go to this PC, go to our games drive, and highlight downloads, and so it appears in the bottom there, Downloads, and then we can choose Select Folder. If you go inside of the Downloads folder, it will create a new Downloads folder inside of your Downloads folder, so you don't really want to do that. Again, obviously, if you want to, you can do entirely up to you, but this is the best way to do it. So click on Select Folder, and once you're happy that it's in there, just click on Apply, and then I'll say, do you want to move all the files from the old location to the new location? And we can click Yes. So now it's gonna go ahead and transfer all your files across. This shouldn't take too long. Obviously, depending on how many files you've got, it can take a lot longer. And if you've got slower mechanical drives or faster drives, the speeds will differ. Okay, so that is the process done. Now, if, you, uh, if at some point you actually want to change that in the future, you can right click and you can actually go back in location and you can restore default. So if you wanna put it back to its original location, you can click on restore default and it'll copy all the folders back. But also what we need to do is to make sure that our Internet Explorer or your Chrome browser are now redirected also. So if we go into Chrome and click on the three dots at the top and we go into settings and go into advanced and we can go into downloads. Now, fortunately, this is actually updated, so Chrome has realized what is going on and has actually relocated it to downloads. So if it hasn't updated for some reason on your system, all you need to do is click on change and then find your folder. So again, we go into our games drive, highlight downloads, select folder, and there we're done. So we can close that down, and now we can also do the same for Edge. So again, click on the three dots, go into settings and downloads. And now this one has actually updated. Again, sometimes your browser won't update, which can be a pain, but it has actually done it. So if it hasn't done it for any reason, just click on change. Again, go to your drive, click on downloads, select the folder, and that has updated it. Again, if you change it back at some point to the default settings, you'll have to go in and change it if it doesn't update automatically. So there we go, that's all of our downloads moved into our new downloads folder on our larger games drive D. 
hopefully giving our SSD or NVMe drive a little bit more of a lifespan and also freeing up some space in the future. So there you go, there's some options on how to create some extra storage space or just to remove bulk files to another location on your drive. If you've got any comments or questions, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.